Welcome to episode 2 of Emulating Pushkas. If you missed episode 1, please go and check that out first. You know some context behind this series. I'll put the link in the description below. And I've also introduced the first 22 players already in episode 1. So in episode 2 here, we're going to go through, I think, 23 players. Mainly wingers, attacking midfielders. There's a few players that can also play up front still as well. Lots of attacking players in this series. It's a well-balanced series, though. We've got plenty of defensive players and a few goalkeepers thrown in there as well. Before I get started, please smash that like button. It'd be much appreciated. So Neville Longbottom is the first player to be introduced. Will he be able to cast a spell on the pitch and work his magic? I'm sure he will be able to. He's decided to be from Greece. He's wanted by six clubs. Lots of interested interest in him. Going on, then, to Sander Tielemann. He's from Holland, and he's elected to choose FC Utrecht to start at. Now, as explained in episode one, some people had the chance to pick a club where they would start, and Sander has decided to start in Holland. Next up is Zander, or Zander? Let's go with Zander, a Scottish attacking midfielder with a Latin flair to his name, I guess. Looks really good technically. He's not actually wanted by any clubs at the moment, but I'm sure someone will pick him up in the not too distant future. Bendover is next. He plays for, he's from Seychelles, sorry, I love the Seychelles flag, it's beautiful. He is not actually wanted by anyone at the moment. He is already in the Seychelles international team, as you can see there. They're not really going to have many players, I guess. Next up is Jan Analkovic, who plays for Slovakia, no Slovenia sorry, I always get those two flags muddled up, Slovenia and he's not actually wanted by anyone either at the moment. Now remember there are a lot of players that have second or third nationalities so you, they may not end up playing for this uh, chose the nation currently listed next to their name, they may go for their second nationality. William Williamson is next, a Welsh attacking midfielder or left winger wanted by two clubs Tottenham and Wolves. Martin Flickershaug is next. Uh, another Norwegian, like I said in episode one, plenty of Nordic nation players in this series once again. And he also can play on the left wing or in the central position. He's only wanted by Sevilla at the moment. TJD is next. A Chinese left winger or striker. I would probably play him on the wing because he looks, he's got dribbling of 20. Crossing needs to be improved. Good at corners as well. He's wanted by one club. He's actually wanted by a Dutch club. Tiki Taka is next. A uh, player from American Samoa. That's very different. Lots of little island nations are being included in this series, which is great to see. And he's not actually wanted by anyone at the moment. And his morale is abysmal, which isn't good. But let's hope he can pick it up from an early setback. Not really a setback. It's just a abysmal morale for no particular reason. Harry Dagubati is next. He was Indian in the last series, I do believe. He's chosen Welsh this time around. But as uh, with Indian as his second nationality. But I'm sure he'll probably get into the Welsh team. I'm pretty sure he'll be good enough for that. He's not wanted by anyone at the moment, though. Josh Downard is next, who decided to choose Barcelona B team as his starting team, but he's already in the Barcelona full team when I loaded up the game, so perhaps he's good enough to, to be training with the full team. We'll see if he gets any games for the first team in the first season, I guess. He's also Italian on this. Boris Johnson is next. <laughs> We've got a Swedish Boris Johnson, though. He's decided to play for Stoke City. Something a bit different. We'll see how he does. <laughs> Floyd Leonard is next. He is from Haiti. Very different. And he decided to, to start at Zenit St. Petersburg. I think he's in the second team at Zenit St. Petersburg. Algo Zuminov is next. A Russian winger. Can play on either side. He's wanted by three clubs. Zenit, Porto and Sevilla. Maybe I should have loaded Russia into this as well, actually. I didn't think about that. James Hughes is next. Who plays for Wales on either wing. Plays for Wales. He's not playing for Wales at the moment, but he might do soon. He's wanted by four clubs, all in England. Well, Cardiff are in Wales, but you know, Cardiff play in the English leagues. Matt Rowe is next. Uh, another. I think he was Swiss in the last series as well, but he's, so he's chosen Switzerland again. He can play on either wing. Wanted by a variety of European clubs, as you can see there. Moving on to Ben Savage, who is another Australian player. He can play on either wing. He's not wanted by any clubs at the moment. 
Isaac Spielman is the next player who is from Peru. I think he's one of the players that, one of the people that signed up through Patreon that just wanted to have their name included and then everything else is randomised. So I gave him 130 current ability and minus 10 potential just like everyone else. But everything else was randomised. I randomly selected a country. It came out as Peru. There we go. Looks a pretty all-rounded player, actually. I don't know if that happens when you don't select any particular attributes. It's just giving him a good all-round balance to his play. Vasco Damayanov is from Bulgaria. And he's an attacking midfielder as well. Decent mentals and physicals, but not great uh, technicals. Christian Gopi is next, a tr player from Trinidad and Tobago. I think it w he was in the last series. I can't remember if he was from Trinidad and Tobago. He's chosen to start at Burton Albion. Joseph Wagner from Zambia is next up. And he is wanted by one club in Portugal. Rahil Master decided to, to choose Palestinian as his nationality and his second na nationality of English. And he's a player that's pretty versatile, can play on the right-hand side or up front. He's not wanted by any clubs at the moment. And lastly, for episode two, we've got Az Azusa Nakano. Uh, great name for a Japanese player who also isn't wanted by anyone. There's quite a few players, actually, that don't have any clubs interested in them. So it may take more than one season for them to find a club. Anyway, that's it for episode two. Episode 3 and 4 will be out in a bit as well, so make sure you keep an eye out for them. Please smash the like button if you're looking forward to this series, and I will see you very soon.